Hello, it's the deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review or shall we say uh, guidance for the day's trading, Tuesday, 28th of June 2016, for US markets. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app via the uh, Google Play and the uh, Apple's App Store. Okay. Now let's try and decipher the uh, the aftermath of the uh, Brexit uh, sell-off, and let's see uh, the uh, actual impact on uh, on U.S. indices. Okay, Fox. Now let's bring up the actual uh, charts for you. In terms of economic data, yesterday for U.S. markets, we certainly had uh, economic data overall neutral, stroke positive. Uh, market PMI, services, composite, Dallas Fed, goods trade. Certainly all coming in uh, neutral stroke bullish, but that's irrelevant given the Brexit concerns or increased concerns via Brexit have uh, certainly uh, indicated a potential risk aversion trade. Okay, so again, that's certainly something to uh, take into consideration. Okay, Fox. In terms of the uh, the actual, uh, in terms of the actual um, uh, U.S. markets, we'll certainly discuss that today. Okay. Now let me just get started here. Okay, so in terms of the U.S. market, so again, U.S. dollar itself, um, again, being bid or being helped, although it has come off this morning uh, on the back of uh, U.S. Mar European markets certainly rallying higher. So let me just bring the chart of the dollar for, uh, index first of all for you. Okay, so dollar index certainly holding that 200 MA, holding that resistance here as well. Okay, uh, you obviously have an unfilled gap below that potentially may well be targeted. So watch out for that zone. Okay, uh, so certainly um, in risk being embraced to a large extent uh, today, uh, or should we say this morning, uh, risk certainly being embraced. Uh, by the market itself. So again, certainly take that on board. European markets this morning are up by 2% across the board on the back of Asian markets being flat stroke negative. You had the Shanghai up 0.5, uh, the Nikkei, and the uh, Nikkei was flat whilst the Hang Seng was uh, down 0.2%. So certainly a mixed set of results, okay? Certainly a lot of mixed results. But nevertheless, we're certainly bouncing today in the European markets, and let's see what the um, the impact will, it will have on the US industry. So let's bring up the Nasdaq first of all. The Nasdaq closed at the lows yesterday at the 6180 zone. Okay, it has subsequently bounced at present, currently trading around the 4235 zone. In terms of the Nasdaq, looking at this 10 minute chart, you certainly have resistance at 4270. Uh, resistance is seen at 4216, but currently we're 4235 at present. So again, certainly take that uh, on board as well in terms of the uh, the actual market okay folks so again our unfilled gap is at 4280 so again that may well be targeted on the upside 60 minute chart the uh, the nasdaq itself certainly some good volume uh, again you have resistance on this bearish candle uh, if we break that then obviously we're looking for that gap fill up 4280 and the daily chart of the nasdaq let's just bring that up for you you certainly close that gap at uh, 4200 and we've subsequently bounced okay subsequently bounced in terms of the uh, the actual uh, semiconductors and uh, biotechs, uh, semiconductors bouncing off that 200 MA, okay, and the biotechs, uh, or shall we say the, uh, let's just bring up the semicons bouncing at 200 MA, the biotech shares are here, okay, holding that potential pivot support, okay, so certainly holding that potential pivot support in terms of biotechs. Okay, in terms of the Dow, let's bring up the Dow. Dow holding that pre potential support zone, previous horizontal support. See whether or not it can hold that. It did pierce the 200 MA, so again, that remains a cause for concern. In terms of Dow Transport, certainly flushed to the downside yesterday. Certainly remain weak, okay. Uh, again, in terms of potential support, we certainly have uh, previous resistance equal support here. And if the market continues to slide, then you will see the Dow transports continue to slide also, okay? Again, all eyes on the potential Dow itself, okay? In terms of the S&P 500, let's bring up the S&P itself, certainly flushed lower on the uh, in yesterday. Uh, again, you have one fill gap at 2035, that way may well be potentially targeted, okay? Uh, again, you're at that Fib 61% resistance is around 2027, then you have 2020, which we are now approaching. Currently trading around the 2016 zone. Uh, 2014 is around the fib 38%. So again, certainly remains bearish. Any re any retracement, any rally 
will potentially be sold on the S&P 500 given the lower lows and lower highs. Again, we broke the key 2026 zone, so if you do retest that, that will certainly act as resistance, okay? The daily chart of the S&P, we close the gap at uh, 1990, okay? Obviously, we subsequently bounced from there quite impressively, up 35 or 36 handles so far. So very, very impressive, folks, okay? Again, like I said, you have the unfilled gap below. Certainly, our all eyes will be on that potential gap being closed, so keep an eye on that, folks, okay? Again, horizontal support below at 1970 as well, so certainly better take into account that uh, situation, okay? So at present, London mayor uh, demands more autonomy for London after Brexit vote. So Mr. Miss, uh, so Miss Merkel's clearly stating that uh, UK negotiation will not be a matter of cherry picking. So again, being uh, quite uh, fierce in terms of their response. So again, certainly will hurt European equities. Okay, again, like I said, you have gap fill 1990. That will be a potential zone. Uh, resistance on the upside. Again, you're looking at 2020 zone, uh, being resistance for the S&P. This key support, previous support equals resistance zone okay so again we'll act as resistance on the upside in terms of the move lower then you certainly have 1970 and 1950 open for the S&P 500 on the lower on the downside in terms of the Russell 2000 again was flushed quite hard yesterday on the back of obviously Brexit fears you do have horizontal support though at 108 so again don't get too uh, too bullish uh, so we say too bearish okay again you do have horizontal support if that fails and the next support is seen around the 105 okay 60 minute chart at the moment you're looking at uh, potential support as well you can see gap fill certainly closed so again uh, the russell and the s p certainly coming into support and nasdaq certainly coming to support as well okay so it'll be interesting to see how the nasdaq responds in that 4200 level okay and uh, overall generally the market how it responds as well so interesting interesting times that we currently uh, reside in okay we'll see exactly how this market is uh, is going to respond okay right okay again you're looking at this bearish price action here folks again you have potential support on the russell and uh, the s p so if you go back to the s p 500 daily chart if 1990 can hold and that Russell can hold a support, then you are going to build off that, okay? So certainly building off 1990 for the S&P 500 uh, going forward. Uh, the 10-minute chart at the present certainly has an unfilled gap at 20 or 2000, okay? Again, previous resistance equals support at 2005. So again, watch out for 2005 and gap fill at 2000, certainly to act as, as support. If that obviously breaks, then you're looking at a, a retest of that 1990 zone on the S&P 500. Given the European markets have certainly rallied quite substantially today, it's going to be very hard. Um, it's going to be uh, going to be very hard in terms of uh, envisaging any potential uh, uh, a real sell-off down back down to 1990 for now 2000 certainly will potentially act as support okay again uh, if you can build a base here then we can certainly attempt to attack that gap fill at 2035 okay right i think that's a, a market wrap for for the u.s market so an insight into u.s markets for today be sure to uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25 percent bonus goodbye now